Welcome to Hardman Talks. Um, this afternoon, we have Tom Hinton, Head of Assured Services um, at LSE, who is going to take us through the features of um, Issuer Services from both the point of view of the company and the investor. Um, good afternoon, Tom. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, today, perhaps you could start off um, giving us a briefing as to how uh, Issuer Services has, has adapted to, over the lockdown. Hi, Caroline. Like, like you said, um, I, I head up Issuer Services at the London Stock Exchange. So as a very brief uh, background, we offer products, services, IR tools, data and content to our listed and quoted clients. Um, and we help them disseminate, disseminate that information either to retail investors or to uh, public market institutional investors as well. Um, and obviously over lockdown, we've seen you know, a very significant trend in digitization um, across the market. And some of this has been forced upon us and some of it has uh, been a trend that's been going on obviously for the past few years, but yeah. I think it's probably accelerated um, a significant, you know, portion of it, sort of maybe five years, you know, further ahead than it may have been yeah. up until now. Um, so I think what has been, you know, helpful um, for our issuers and also for our investors is the digital tools that we developed, um, which I can explain a little bit further um, later on as we discuss. But I, you know, I think that's been a key, you know, key driver for us is digitization and the communication between the companies and their investors. Um, I thought perhaps it would be very useful to our audience if um, you could take us through the features of issuer services. Maybe first of all, from the point of view of the company and then uh, more laterally, the investor. So each of our companies, both on the main market and AIM and actually our debt issuers as well, yeah. um, all have a login to the issuer services platform. And yeah. they don't pay us anything additional for that. That's part of our their sort of membership of the London Stock Exchange. Yeah. So when they log in, they can edit their profile page, which appears on LondonStockExchange.com. And actually that website gets 10 million visits a month, 2 million unique, and sort of 95% of those visitors are, are investors. And that's partly because of our position in the market, it's because of the London Stock Exchange brand, it's because the website's so enormous, we rank very highly on, on search engines. So our, our issuers can come in and they can log in and they can, a bit like LinkedIn, they can add their social media feeds, they can add their company reports, they can add their, their, their branding. So it's in line with their IR story that exists on their website. And that way we help them, you know, publicize um, their business and, you know, their equity story to the, you know, the most diversified investor base that's possible yeah. and investors that come to our platform. Um, separately to that, they, they can also now um, digitize their results presentations through us. So we, we give them the facilities a little bit like this interview. You know, we've helped many companies now uh, digitize their results presentation. And similarly, they, they, they do the video, they, they can have their slides there, they can take Q&A, they can integrate dial-in details, they can upload their um, results presentations as well. Uh, the actual presentation for the meeting and they, they can distribute it out through through London Stock Exchange and then get full analytics afterwards. And that, you know, that's proven to be actually a very you know, valuable service, particularly over, over lockdown. Um, and then finally, the other things they can access through us behind the login is data and analytics. So they can see how their shares are, shares are trading, what, what, yeah. what volatility looks like, what their peers are doing, they can access research and include, including Hardman research, I should add. Um, and, and then we offer them, you know, products and services from, from partners like, like Hardman and other, other providers. And then we also digitize, digitize um, thought leadership. Um, so it's, very, it's, a, it's, it's a very diverse platform, but principally we're aiming at the communication between the company and the investor and giving the company tools, A to understand its data, and be to access the services and know how that it needs to, you know, to operate as a public company. Tom, do you think you could share your screen with us and um, highlight some of these features you've just spoken about? Yeah, of course, I'll be, I'll be happy to. 
so this is the London Stock Exchange website, um, yeah. which is I think most people would be familiar with. Mm-hmm. And every company has a profile page. So this is Seven Trends page, and and you can see they've uploaded their sort of branding, their social media feeds. They've also got obviously the data which comes through from London Stock Exchange, yeah. um, which is integrated. And then they've got things like latest reports. Um, and various other features there. And then in the Our Story tab, they can explain what the company does. They can also upload photos and and videos and and various other media. Um, And then their Twitter and their Facebook feeds also feed through um, on here automatically. Now, that's obviously the London Social Exchange website. This is the issuer services website where they access it. So as an issuer, they can they can log in very simply. They get access to um, the ability to edit their profile page, yeah. and then they also get access to um, Spark Live. So this is where we host the company's results presentation. So you can see a few here, which yeah. which have been hosted over the past few okay. few weeks. And then these these pages pull through the branding which exists on the on the profile page. And then investors themselves can register and watch and the company gets access to this data and you can see the speaker profiles and you can also download um, the the documentation and various other assets and during the presentation itself you can actually uh, ask questions and the company can um, can sort of answer those questions we also have a sort of you know the normal disclaimers in front of it for the companies a, a sort of video library of previous results presentations so that they all sit in one place for each different company. And then just very, very quickly, we've also got the intelligence tab, which is data, but the companies can visit that on a in a logged in state. So I won't show you that at the moment because I'm not yeah. logged into it. And then a marketplace of, of service providers where issuers can find companies that offer, you know, products and services, yeah. as I said, like, you know, like Hardman. And, and there's a you know clear description of what the company does and how, how issuers can can contact them. Um, and then also on Spark, we have a range of um, thought leadership um, around various topics like yeah. you know financial forecasting, all that type of stuff. So as I say, it's quite a rich uh, platform which is growing you know significantly at the yeah. moment, and we're we're continuing to you know drive. Um, sort of uh, different types of functionality for us just to use, particularly on the investor relation communication side of things. Okay, that looks immensely valuable, Tom. Do you think that you could um, now take us through the features for the investor, um, maybe highlighting those? On the London Stock Exchange website, which is where we have most of our um, investor sort of uh, interaction as i said earlier we get millions of of visitors um, to that page Um, they can go on those pages and find information you know on the company so we've got um, every single company every security which is admitted to trading um, in london here and we've got about just over probably about half the market now personalizing their pages and this is principally because they want to interact with, you know, with investors. So if you look at this page, you've got all the normal sort of analytics that you can do yeah. on a chart. So you can add in indicators, volatility, over timelines. You can compare with, you know, um, whichever business you want to um, and see exactly how, you know, how, they, how they're tracking. You can download the charting. Um, see the price information, instrument information, um, the, the trades. And then this comes from the issuer services platform. So you get equity research as an investor, latest annual report, and you click on this, um, investor relations contacts, the upcoming events. Um, so should they've got one today on the 28th or yesterday rather on the 28th. Um, and they can sort of upload a, a full diary of events that are coming up here. And then we've also got various other tabs, like, um, as I said before, our story, which yeah. describes what the company does, because obviously as companies grow, their business changes. And it's important the, the companies, the investors can understand exactly you know, what it is they do. Um, further information about which sectors they, they sit in, 
yeah. their videos and photos and media, and then obviously their social media, which is becoming increasingly important um, for investors and companies. So it sort of consolidates it all in one place. And then we've got other tabs, which are, you know, obviously the trade trade recap, which gives information about volumes and trades and that type of thing. And, and you can do various um, graphs on the volumes over, over specific periods. Um, the fundamentals are based on a sort of financial statements and you can you can look at those balance sheet income statement and cash flow statement and you can you can download them you can also look at ratios um, which which is helpful if you're if you're an investor that's interested in, in that type of thing which obviously most investors are and then you can also get access to additional tear sheets from FTSE Russell and um, another tear sheet that we put together specifically on on the company so it's again, and obviously all our RNSs, so you can track all their RNSs historically, um, all in one place. So what I mean, we're we're continually looking to sort of enhance these pages and enhance the analytics which sit within them. I think an area where um, we sort of focusing on at the moment, as I said earlier, is the is to try and help investors and companies have a two way dialogue. Um, so that it's not just a one-way conversation from the company, but they they feel that they can be much more accessible. So, as I said earlier, I think you know COVID in some respects has yeah. been obviously incredibly disruptive, but it's it's allowed you know it will enhance the digitization of that communication and actually investors that you know what we've heard from investors they've really welcomed that and been able to you know participate in meetings that perhaps they wouldn't have otherwise been at particularly at the you know the retail end of the market. Is there a cost to the investor for this service? No, not at all. It's it's entirely um, it's entirely uh, free for the investor. And what I should have said actually is on the London Stock Exchange website, you can create as a retail investor, you can create your own account um, and set up your own watch lists and alerts around companies. Um, and, and sectors as well. So if you're particularly interested in healthcare, you can set up a load around the whole healthcare sector um, or around you know, new IPOs. So you can get, um, you can get alerts around ITFs um, and that type of thing. And we've got, I think I'm right in saying, is almost half a million retail accounts with the LSE that track and have sort of watch lists um, through, through the platform. Okay, I mean, it looks an incredibly useful resource. Um, and I think one that should be utilised much more. Um, thank you very much, Philip. Perhaps you could tell us about the changes coming in 2021. I think you've got a number of big enhancements coming through. We, we do actually, we've, um, so I'm sure most people will be aware, we, there's a very significant transaction with, with Refinitiv, which um, mm -hmm. is, is in the process of closing. Um, and obviously Refinitiv as a business, has not only you know fantastic heritage, but also very meaningful um, pools of data and other services, which we are hopeful um, that we'll be able to enhance what we offer through the platform to our issuers. Obviously, it's not going to happen um, overnight because there are some quite complex technical um, integrations um, that need to take place. And, not being tech, technical myself, my developers always tell me that I completely underestimate how, how complicated these things are. But but there is definitely a plan for us to um, to enhance the services we offer to our issuers um, on, on on the data side, um, but also on the communication side of things. We're very focused on on as I said earlier the the interaction between the investor and the company and on the live streaming. Um, offering that we have, we're continually releasing product and releasing functionality to, uh, to the company. So as an example, um, last week we released the functionality where investors can request a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the company directly through the platform. Um, and little tweaks like that are taken directly from um, company feedback. So we're looking to um, do that you know, a lot more over the, the course of this year. And then on the security pages on the London Stock Exchange website, we have an ambition, obviously, to be the go-to place for information on our companies for investors. So I think investors can expect to see, you know, a lot more um, functionality and analytical tools, which will be provided for them on the on the on the platform. 
Well, thank you very much for a very informative time. Um, and uh, hopefully it will allow both companies and um, investors to use your um, services more effectively. No, thank you. And, and if, um, if anyone has um, any questions or wants to um, contact us, directly um, the email address is issuer services at lseg.com and you know please don't hesitate uh, to contact us and ask um, any questions that you might have thank you again tom thank you